This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, now we bring you a discussion on PM's Man Ki Baat. The participants are Ashok Tandon, political analyst, and Neelab Srivastav, journalist. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today addressed the nation as part of the 84th session of the monthly Man Ki Baat address. This also happens to be the last edition for the year 2021, as the new year is just round the corner. The Man Ki Baat address can be summed up as a session where the Prime Minister talks about achievements, successes, social evils and ways to eradicate them, find solutions to various challenges being faced by the country, unsung heroes, schemes launched by his government and many more such topics. Today's address also uh, comes at a time when the pandemic of coronavirus had reared its uh, head again with a new variant uh, called Omicron and also a general spurt being seen in the regular COVID-19 infections not only in india across the globe so he was talking about an extraordinary talent like dr kurela with vithal charya ji from telangana and the kind of initiative he undertook uh, setting up a library also the initiative taken by the bandarkar oriental research institute based in pune with regard to the spread and awareness about indian culture tendons of i think the entire initiative of the man ki baat in all these editions we have seen is to talk about how can we as humans and how as, as a society and as a country people can come together and make the world a better place to live certainly as we know that in all his episodes of man ki baat the prime minister has never in a way addressed the nation he has always engaged the people in a some kind of a running dialogue as if he is communicating with the people of this country and he himself has said that he might have highlighted a lot of goodness uh, good work which the government has done but he said that from my own experience he has realized that we should also be appreciating the experience uh, and the achievements innovative ideas of uh, those who have been away from the glare of the media and uh, no newspaper or uh, television has made them and their achievements as the headline and they are in millions and they are doing great things and uh, they are not doing it for themselves they are doing it to ensure future of this country and that was one major departure from earlier episodes of man ki baat and then he said that uh, he was in fact uh, not very sure which one to pick up you have right now mentioned some of them but he said in the amrit mahotsav when we are celebrating and these people they are the real jan shakti of the country they are the strength and the strength of each and every individual their efforts their hard work in a way guarantees a bright future for india and humanity and then he set the tone and he said that uh, in fact he in brought in the corona pandemic also but before that he listed spoke to them and those who were watching it on doordarshan there were visuals of those people some of whom, whom you mentioned what exactly they are doing for the country what exactly their achievements are for the society and he went on and on and he spent a lot of time Uh, in appreciating discussing the work of these uh, people and then in that context he said that uh, it is the strength of the people because of everybody's effort that india could fight the biggest pandemic in a 100 year because we stood by each other like a family in every difficult moment and we were helping someone in our locality or city and try to do more than what one could have done and this is the real jan shakti and he said uh, if we compare the vaccination figures of the world today i mean those of india when well, it feels that the country has handled such an unprecedented task how big a goal has been achieved crossing the 140 million vaccine doses mark is an achievement of each and every indian so the theme of today's man ki baat was that the collective effort which the people of this country are putting in whether it is research whether it is innovation whether it is social work or whether it is fighting the pandemic so this shows that the trust of every indian in the system including our trust in science and in our scientists you know is a testament of the will power of we indian who are fulfilling our responsibilities toward the society now that was i think an exceptionally 
different and bright aspect of the 84th episode of Man Ki Baat. As you said, it is, was the last episode of the 2021 and he said that the entire country, people are looking forward to welcome the 2022 and uh, a new year. And uh, in fact, uh, people will be also taking a resolution to do something better, to become better in coming years. So that was the uh, tone. So I think uh, when he brought in the collective effort of the coronavirus in that context, he also talked about uh, the vaccination drive which is coming and these things we can discuss. Right. Uh, talking about people's initiative, collective initiative, he also spoke about some people, not only in India, but outside the country also who are taking interest in ensuring and creating awareness about the Indian culture. So if I can quote from uh, the Prime Minister's address, was one such person he spoke about was a Serbian scholar, Dr. Momir Nikic. And he has compiled, the Dr. Nikic has compiled a bilingual Sanskrit and Serbian dictionary. And he has got about 70,000 Sanskrit words included in this dictionary. And the remarkable thing about this is that Dr. Nikic has learned Sanskrit language at an age of 70. The Prime Minister also spoke about a 93-year-old professor from Mongolia. His name is J. Gender Dharam. And in the last four decades, he has translated about 40 ancient texts, epics and composition of India into Mongolian language. In the same context, Mr. Dandan, I think he spoke about the Bandarkar Oriental Research Institute of Pune, which has now initiated an online course for people to learn about Indian culture and history. And in the same breath, he also spoke about an initiative taken by people in Arunachal Pradesh as to conserving the flora and fauna, where uh, people have initiated a air gun surrender program. Mr. Tandon? Certainly. Prime Minister invoked the Mahabharata, where uh, Bhagwan Sri Krishna, he expresses to Arjuna, that is, touch the sky with pride. And then he paid glowing tributes to our airports and in particularly group captain Varun Singh. We all know we lost him. He was the only surviving in that helicopter crash. But PM today remembered him and uh, we know he also mentioned that we lost the country's first CDS, General Bipin Rawat and his wife along with many brave hearts. But Varun Singh also fought death bravely for many days. But then he also left us. So when Varun was in the hospital, the Prime Minister said, I saw something on social media that touched my heart. He was given Shore Chakra in August just this year. After this honor, he had written a letter to the principal of his school. After reading this letter, the first thought that came to Prime Minister's mind was that even after reaching the pinnacle of success, he did not forget to nurture his roots. And, you know, when he had time to celebrate, he showed concerns for the generations to come. I think uh, paying tributes to the Indian Air Force, uh, you know, leadership, the Prime Minister touched God with the millions of uh, the countrymen. And uh, then he said the mantra which uh, Group Captain has given to us is to rise from average to extraordinary is equally important. And this is how Group Captain Varun Singh has written his letter. So I think we can go in on and on, but it was a very, very significant, important and touching part of today's Maniki Baat. The Prime Minister also spoke about the kind of uh, human initiative that has been brought together by people in Arunachal Pradesh. Now they have surrendered about 1600 guns. These are air gun kind of variety of guns. And this is to ensure that uh, the hunting of birds, the indiscriminate hunting of birds can be stopped. And this such initiatives can only be brought together when people come together. So while a soldier is guarding the front at the borders or by way of Air Force or the Navy or other defense forces, as people's initiative, you can also render human services to the country. Uh, speaking about uh, coronavirus, uh, Mr. Tandon, this is again a time when uh, we are seeing a spurt in the cases. Omicron variant is here. India has also reported new cases. The Prime Minister talked about, and I quote, that the sense of responsibility that should be exhibited by everyone as we enter the year 2022 now, the new year. And he talked about the record vaccinations. You just mentioned it. But I think the challenge of uh, COVID has refused to leave us. And I think that is what the PM also wanted to underline. Certainly, he cautioned people that we have to observe all the precautions and the including the basic precautions of wearing masks and, uh, you know, washing our hands, etc. But one uh, very significant uh, point was, which Prime Minister never misses, is uh, that uh, when the students are going for exam 
and he said this year also and he is planning to discuss these issues exam issues with the students before the exam start and he said that the registration for this program is also going to start two days later that is 28 december onward on the mygov.in and this registration will be on from 28 december till 20th of january for this online competition will also be organized for students teachers and parents of class 9 to 12 the prime minister said he would like uh, all of us to take part in this that means parents teachers as well as students and they will get an opportunity uh, to uh, pm will get an opportunity to meet them so together we will brainstorm on many aspects related to examination career success and student life that was another very important highlight of today's man ki baat well, the prime minister also uh, mr randan uh, spent a very considerable time talking about the kind of initiatives that the kind of clarion call that he has given to the people of the country speaking about the various uh, schemes or the mottos of the government like the atmanirbhar bharat the self reliant india scheme or the swachh bharat or the clean india scheme where he says that uh, we cannot lose one moment if we want to contribute to the success and the well being of the country start working from today without wasting a moment so in conclusion and in the end when he spoke about he spent a very good amount of time speaking about the various initiatives that the government has brought even the people have sent suggestion for it but also urged the countrymen to dedicate themselves for the better and well being of the country so that once we are welcoming the new year 2022 every one of us again comes together joins hands and puts us all the best efforts to ensure that uh, india as such uh, becomes a better place for people to live and also the kind of initiatives that the government has uh, launched can be gelled with a uh, people's initiative yes but another very significant highlight was the singing of vande matram and when the clip was being shown i mean nobody thought that the students who are uh, reciting vande matram are students from greece that was amazing and uh, so commendable pm said that such efforts bring people of two countries closer and he sent his greetings to the students of greece and their teacher and then he talked about uh, the very significant drone show in lucknow the drone show was organized in the residency area of lucknow and the visual was so fascinating see the testimony of the first freedom struggle of 1857 and is still visible on the walls of the residency of lucknow and in the drone show you know different aspects of the indian freedom struggle were brought to life whether it was chauri chaura andolan the kakori train incident of or netaji subhash chandra bose courage and valor the prime minister ended with saying we have to learn so much innovate achieve new goals and therefore we'll have to preserve without even wasting a moment we have to take the country to the newer heights he as usual he promised that there will be more editions of this man ki baat i think the overall theme as you said is people to people action collective action and also ensuring that one and all contributes to the development of the country yes as always pm never forgets to talk about cleanliness and swachh bharat and the resolve of cleanliness will be fulfilled only with discipline awareness and dedication that was the message which he has never forgotten because the swachh bharat campaign which he launched and he in fact made a sort of a, a campaign on the lines of uh, gandhi ji's uh, satyagraha campaign and its success is all visible and the glimpses and then he also mentioned uh, of that in the he mentioned puneet sagar campaign undertaken by cadets more than 30000 ncc cadets participated in this campaign so this again is a very significant mantra about uh, cleanliness and swachh bharat campaign and in the amrit mahotsav period he said the next step of cleanliness is about water absolutely correct mr tandon i think these are the salient points that the pm highlighted today thank you so much for sharing your points thank you You were listening to a discussion on PM's Man Ki Baat. The participants were Ashok Tandon, political analyst, and Nilab Shrivastav, journalist. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app News on AIR. This program is also available on our YouTube channel News on AIR Official. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsttalks@gmail.com. At